Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the structure of MS Teams. Now, this is really important. Before you start adding students and start creating teams, you've really got to think about what structure you're going to have for your teams and how you're going to lay everything out. Um, so if you look, what I've got here, I've got a computer science department team. Now, in this particular team, that's where we'll have our departmental meetings, but it's also where I'll set all the assignments for every single course I run from year seven all the way up to year 12. Now the reason I'll do that is, is because all the assignments will be in one team and I can reuse those assignments um, for any of the actual classes I've got all the way through. And it's a lot easier to find them, okay? But we'll come on to that on the actual assignment video, okay? But it's really important if you wanna keep, keep it kind of nice and simple and easy to manage, you have a departmental one where you can add all your teachers and they can actually have their meetings as well as set those assignments. Now you'll notice here in my year nine and 10 computer science group, I've got the general tab, as you know, in general, I've got the far, the posts, the files, I can actually go through class materials. So class materials only shows the um, read only um, files, which I want students to access. So if you look here, I just drag and drop this in. If we go into each of the units, I've got all my lessons set up there. I've got any resources I want to use. I've got the PowerPoint, I've got the homework, I've got the worksheet. All of that is all there, ready to go there. And the easiest way to set all of this up is all I did was I made a file structure on my computer, made sure I was happy of how I wanted it all there. And I merely just dragged and dropped it onto the screen and it uploaded. This is all backed up onto OneDrive which is fantastic, so I don't have to worry about this again. Once it's all there, it's done, it's backed up, I can just carry on, and I can access this from any internet-enabled device. You'll notice as well what I've done. I've added different channels. And you can add a channel by just clicking on the three lines there and click Add a Channel. I can give the channel a name. I can make it standard, so it's access to everybody. If I wanted to, though, I can make a private channel where basically it could only be accessed by certain students. So if for, I've got all my units down here, I want everybody to be able to access this. Another way you can do it, if you've got a year 11 group who's running similar courses, I could add all the students to the general channel. And if you notice the padlock, that means it's a private channel. So when I go to add members to that channel, if I just go and click three dots and add there, it brings up the same kind of um, email system. So if we're looking for someone in particular, um, I can add those people to that and all it will do, it means they, those people I've added to that channel are the only ones who can see that. So it, although I'd have everybody added to the general tab or channel, only the ones I've added to the year 10 students or the year 11 students or year 9 students will be able to see that. Now it all depends on what structure you would like to use for yours. I personally like the split these up for the year nines and tens because they're running one particular specification my year 11s are running a separate specification so when i come to actually do this properly i'll get rid of these particular channels and add their units in this is just for show at the moment i've got my imedia channel where again because they're all running the same course they all need access to all the materials so in the general side of things i've got my files in my class materials and it's got all the units they need to complete. Now the reason I've added 9, 10 and 11 into here is because I might want to just send a message or do a post to the year 11 students to say they've got a practice for an exam coming up say. So I'd go into the year 11 channel, go into the post and type something in there and only the year 11 who I've added to that private channel will be able to see that. Okay. And, and that gives you a general overview of the actual structure. So the key things to remember, okay, is set up your channels of what you want, or your team, should I say. So I've got the digital media, the iMedia, GCSE, computer science year 11 and year nine, so on two different specs. The key one here, which is gonna be really useful for when we're using the other actual units is the actual departmental one where you're gonna be setting all your assignments. If you watch the assignments video, you'll see why that's important.